Good out class. Not. Why? It's so difficult. Ah, what does that word sound? Um, it sounds Sinja. What's the means of it? Um, it means get a better job. Really? Yes. Because I'm a good runner. A cock for bed. You bet? I bet. <laughs> it's time for run man. I like it. Let's go home and watch it. program is very fun. I like this program most. Who is your favorite star? Ah, my favorite star? Do you know Su Jiso? He is my favorite star. And uh, when I watched uh, his drama, I'm sorry I love you. So I loved him very much. And if you watch it, uh, you will love him too. And uh, what's your favorite star? Can you see? Um, my favorite star is Kim Chung Gu. Uh, because he's very strong and he always take care of the girls. After see this program, I like him better and better. Um, in China, very uh, um, many people like him. Oh, really? Yes. I'm so hungry. Do you want some fried rice? Yes. So I made it for you. Cool. Okay. Casey, let me show you how to make traditional Chinese food. Okay. Take some vegetables such as onion, cucumber, and potato. Put some pox with soy sauce. Put rice in them. Put egg and fry them all together. Ta da! Done! It's so easy, isn't it? Wow! Is that all? It's so easy! I will do this someday at home when I know to cook or go out to eat. I feel homesick. I miss my family. I'm very sad when I was sick. There's nobody to take care of me. You too? Of course, I feel lonely sometimes. I feel sick of doing laundry, buying groceries, 
and always thinking what to eat. And uh, in this time, um, I was always grateful of what my mom have done for me. Hi, mom. This is Jessica. How are you these days? Oh, that's great. I will so miss you these days. You too. And don't worry about me. I mean, here so good. And out here, I have lots of friends. And uh, well, I'm not be with you. Please take care of yourself. I will miss you so much. Okay, I will take care of myself. Okay, I love you, ma'am. Bye. Which is kind of a, a licorice candy. Snickers, sweet tarts, and salt. Mmm, Hershey bar. Yes! Kisses, chocolate kisses, yum. I like those too. It's four o'clock. Let's take a break now, okay? Okay. Right. at uh, student community mm -hmm. and uh, when the first day I met him I don't know what will happen between us but uh, with time goes by and one day I felt I have fell in love with him mm. and from that day we didn't uh, leave each other oh my god that's so sweet you met him in student comedy yeah I think I should apply for that so. yeah you need to go you need yeah, to go definitely so oh, I've tried, tried that several times already, but it's yes. Mm. Rather than focusing on having a boyfriend, uh, investing in your style would be much more good for you. Mm. What about it? Mm. You know how important it is to focus on studying your major for your future? You know, time flies so fast. I feel like I got in this university just yesterday, but I'm so former now. I strongly recommend you studying major much harder. I've seen many friends who regret for not studying hard. Why? Well, one of my friends wanted to apply for one of her dream company, but then she couldn't just because her grade was not enough. Also, ask many questions to professor. What it? He or she will give you a lot of advice later. Um, when you graduate or get a job. Mm -hmm. I see. What kind of job are you looking for? Uh, nutritionist mm. or hygienist. Mm. I'm looking forward to get a job in CJ like B company. Mm. But my mother doesn't want me to do that job because she's dentist. Mm. She wants me to be a pharmacist. Mm. Hence, I had a fight with my mother yesterday. Mm. So, how are you going to do with that? So, I'm thinking of preparing for medical college mm. to be a pharmacist. Mm. Actually, I thought with my parents about this when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. Or applying for university. Mm. And uh, I know you very much to me. Why in college it is me to choose what kind of major I I study 
um, I choose Korean because I love it. But uh, um, the more I study in Korean, the more I find that uh, I love in English more. Mm. So the gap between English and Korean is the bigger, biggest problem in mm. me. So I also don't know what to do now. Mm. Well, I don't think that is a problem. You love speaking English more than any other thing and you have been studied English in free time. Uh, there seems to be no problem at all to me. Uh, if it is the English skills only that you're worried about, I strongly recommend you go for it better late than never. In my case, I'm majoring in political science, but I'm considering doing work that not re necessarily related to it. What I realized through two years of school was that if there is one what I like to do, the most that is the one that I'm going for not only because that is the one that will make me happy, but also because that is the one that will make most successful. That definitely one on the presumption that I pay a force it really hard. Last word sounds so admirable that as long as I'm eager to be someone and pay efforts to it, mm -hmm. I can be the one. I was also wondering past few years what is my dream job, but I could not decide on one. Although I had quite many jobs that I would like to do, now that I think of it, the reason that I could not decide on my job was nothing but because I have not done any efforts to make that dream come true. As my reality seemed so distant from my ideals, it was inevitable that I became confused of my true vocation. From now on, I think I should do something to make my vocation more feasible. Oh, everyone seems to be in difficult uh, situations in their own terms. Well, I didn't know that playing piano as I wanted and majoring in piano and dreaming of becoming piano teacher. That's because my mom loves it, loves music, and so do I. I have never really thought how blissful situation I was in. Now that I think of it, I feel like I should be very appreciate my family background and situations that I have and play piano hard after all. Actually, I know how grateful I am to be educated abroad and meet a variety of people. But it is true that living away from my family, everything new from the language people speaking, friends whom I feel difficult to talk with, and teachers, everything is so unlike what I'm used to it that I feel like I just want to leave everything behind, go back to my hometown. At the first time of school, I had to go around the school just to find the class that I registered for. Because I could hardly read either Korean or English, I could not know my um, schedule that I can tell you guys how this spread I flew as I went home. That sounds so awful. Had I been there for you, I could have guided you to the website and be a buddy for you. I can feel how you would have felt as I also had gone through a lot of trouble adapting to my new school in Korea. I really know the feeling of you. When I come to the Korean, the night I'm in dormitory, I want to eat dinner and uh, I make it for myself. But unfortunately, um, there, there is a big cut on my finger. At the same time, my, my finger keep bleeding and it cannot stop. At the same time, I don't know what to do because no one besides me to take care of me. Mm. I really don't know how to do. So, how did you get through? I'm afraid there's no hospital near here. Yeah, you're right. So, uh, what uh, I can do is go to the near nearest uh, hospital and then when I go there, they put me into the emergency room. Mm. And also, that's the worst, worst feeling when I'm in Korea. Mm. No one beside me and uh, that's the wor worst feeling. Everyone don't know me if you don't have this experience. Mm. That's awful. Yeah. 
I know how this dress you'd be. It, it has been only three months that I began to become independent of my parents. Mm -hmm. But last night I had a terrible headache that I could not wake up. Mm -hmm. Mm, but as there were neither parents or friends nearby, so I had no choice but to just lie on my bed and snore. I know how you would feel. Oh, I sympathize with you. I would have ran to your house if you had called me. Just call me next time when you feel sick or lonely. Anytime you feel like you have someone with you. Okay? okay. Same here, you know I met you first time because you're a foreigner, I felt distance, but however, it was silly of me that I think like that. The way you're busy with studying mm -hmm. and caring about clothes that are hit these days seem nothing different from me. <coughs> I'm so glad to make a friend like you. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Same here. Three, two, one. Cheers! Like this.